Hey, hey what's, what's up guys, it's Joe here, and today we have so much news. Welcome back to Fort Lore, your number one source of Fortnite news, because we have memes. That's right. Wow, epic. <laughs> oh my gosh, has this happened to anyone else before? Tell me if it happened to you in the comment section below. I This has happened to me while well, I've been damaged. I haven't been killed entirely. I mean, that's ridiculous. Hopefully they fix that in the coming update, which is coming tomorrow morning, 4 a.m. or 5. I mean, I don't really know the exact time, but we do know it is coming tomorrow as of this Reddit post. Pretty good, pretty good. And they are doing nerfs changes to the uh, storm plane i actually don't know what exactly it's called tomorrow the update comes with changes to the airplanes of fortnite where you will be taking 50 damage when you get uh blown up out of a plane instead of currently 25 i believe it's currently 25 or it might be even be less but you'll be taking 50 damage every time your plane it gets blown up which is a pretty huge nerf if you haven't heard about that already that's kind of old news but anyways let's get into the new news snowboarding or drift boarding i guess uh is coming to fortnite fortnite battle royale if you haven't seen my save the world videos it'll probably work just like the hoverboard which i showed in the save the world videos but yes we were wrong it's not skiing or, or maybe skiing could still come. I, I, I don't know. But, but 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 for now, at least, we're getting drift boarding. And this is kind of a no-brainer, but you can only see one person per board. I, I would imagine they'd come in a bunch in specific areas, like a, like a bunch. I mean, like, I'm talking like eight in like one area, maybe six, I don't know, four. I don't know. And I can't wait to showcase this because this is something that I'm actually pretty excited about, drift boarding. Oh man, this is good. <laughs> if it's if it works just like the, I'm telling you, if this works just like the hoverboards and save the world, it's gonna be so good. Trust me on it. You should be hyped about this. Now, this would be sick. By Reddit user the Goody Boy. All links it will be in the description. Also, before I get into any more news, I released. Oh, I guess you could call this news. I released a point of interest called Sturdy Steps, and I need your support on it because I believe. They're actually going to start picking people tomorrow for their builds to be presented into Fortnite. I'm not really sure exactly how they're going to be doing that, how they're going to be choosing, if they already chose, uh-oh, you know? <laughs> uh, but I did post a tweet on Twitter, and I'd like if you have a Twitter to retweet it, just so it can gain some traction, because if it's not seen, then it doesn't have a chance at all, no matter how good, right? And uh, the code will be on the screen right now, so that you can go into creative mode for right now enter in the code in one of the featured spots in the hub and you will be able to enter it yourself see it for yourself and that's pretty cool check it out if you'd like to support and get in the game we can have sturdy steps in the game home of the stools reddit user the villainous guy believes that season eight will feature a setting that will have a tropical and underwater theme here's why and before i read this really quick I just wanted to say I had this idea a week ago. Uh, this guy had this idea three days ago. I just never, I just never got around to making a video on it. Honestly, I thought it might be a dumb idea, but it's kind of actually, it seems actually pretty legit. Uh, my initial theory was that all the ice is gonna melt in Greasy Grove, and we'll be able to go underwater into the old Greasy Grove. But I don't know how possible that's gonna be. But anyways, to cut straight to the point, on his Reddit post, looking at different landmarks. Battle Pass items, and the idea of the sun. I argue that a possible route, Season 8, will make a tropical water theme. Proof number one. The spray in the Season 7 Battle Pass shows a window looking out into a school of fish underwater. So you know how the Battle Pass always hints towards the next season? They do that. that every season. So this is probably pretty legit. Uh, another item in the Battle Pass that hints to fish in underwater. And then proof number three... Another underwater creature in the battle pass, Kraken or Squid or you know, whatever that is. One of the three. It's like, I'll call it a Kraken, okay? That would be cool if there's like a Kraken sea monster. I mean, they added that blade. I mean, they might as well add a Kraken mythic monster. I, I mean, I wouldn't be bothered by that, to be honest. <laughs> this submarine location in the new snow biome on the Fortnite map. A submarine is an underwater vehicle of course and that is a lot of proof right there a submarine why would they, why the heck would there be a submarine on the map like why would there be a submarine on this snowy mountain that doesn't even make any sense how do you even get up there anyways we're still in season seven just the beginning why are we talking about season eight 
for it lower. And here's a disclaimer, is this 100% certain? No, you can upvote this man. Pretty good, pretty good stuff, pretty good post as well. So we're all good, everything's great, and uh, there might be an underwater theme for next season of Fortnite, but obviously season seven just began, so let's talk about this again another day month all right and uh that's pretty much about it for the news today hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like on the video comment down below your thoughts on all of the content that is coming our way and subscribe for a chug jug and that'll be it peace